Nothing is confirmed just yet, but we might be on the verge of something absolutely massive within Modern Warfare Mastered, which by the time this video goes up may or may not still have any information out there at all. But it's something that I want to bring you guys the information here for this because it could be once again massive or it could be nothing. So first and foremost, take this with a grain of salt and take this with an open mind. But we might have another Modern Warfare Remastered map pack coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Now, yes, I totally understand that makes almost zero sense because all the maps that we have within Modern Warfare Remastered are all the maps that are in the original Modern Warfare game. We have the full multiplayer map list and the DLC variety map pack as well within Modern Warfare Remastered. So what could ever be added into Modern Warfare Remastered as another additional multiplayer map pack? That's something that again, doesn't make much sense, but according to one listing here by a French game retailer, which seems to be from the imagery that I've seen, Micromania.fr, which is a major retailer in France for games, which kind of adds a little bit initially to the credibility, but of course doesn't necessarily guarantee anything. Over on Reddit, there was a little bit of a leak found out and shared around a little bit about a map pack called Regroup, for Modern Warfare Remastered. Now the initial report once again claimed that there was this French retailer which had put up a listing for a map pack called Regroup, had taken it down, and this is then now where the reporting started. It's kind of one of those things where, hey, I saw this happen, don't have anything just yet, but then they ended up going into the archives of the website and finding the initial page itself, to which it gives some really interesting information about a map pack called Regroup. This wouldn't feature anything from COD 4, but instead would feature maps from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Now, excuse my French translation here using Google as my most valuable asset for this type of thing, but if you take a look at the page and then read out what this says, it says initially, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered includes four remastered multiplayer maps from the original game. And then it goes on to say, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered pack includes four remastered multiplayer maps of the original game series. Rediscover some of the most epic things in Modern Warfare Remastered with Palace, a remake of the Modern Warfare 2 fan favorite estate, bringing players to a luxurious palace in the Middle East. Terminal, a remake of the Modern Warfare 2 fan favorite Terminal as a Russian airport terminal. Skyscraper, a remake of the Modern Warfare 2 fan favorite High Rise, which brings players to the roof of a newly built skyscraper in the Middle East. Boundary, a remake of the Modern Warfare 3 fan favorite Dome, which brings players to the Russian Finnish border in a dome. Regroup will be available on the 1st of August for PlayStation 4. Now, what even is this bombshell? That's something that, as a Modern Warfare fan, is fantastic to think about in a sense, but also completely out of the blue, it's crazy to think about. Four more multiplayer maps for Modern Warfare Mastered, bringing Modern Warfare Mastered a little bit more life here to round out the content season, perhaps, for Modern Warfare Mastered. And when thinking about this, my mind immediately goes into a million different directions. Firstly, is it legit? Second, how would this work out? And so many other different things just come to my mind at this point. So let's break this all down here for you guys and give you guys pretty much everything you need to know. Once again, is it legit is the first thing we wanna talk about. I think that this might be something that does have a little bit of credibility behind it. Firstly, I wanna jump into the source, what this may very well be. In the initial Reddit air quote leak, it's not something that they gave the website information away, but having done some basic glancing at French retailers, the layout of the site once again does match up with that of the website Micromania, which is once again a very reliable source for retailers in France. So it's something that it might very well come from say maybe your English equivalents of EB Games or GameStop or something like that. And so a listing like this that was posted and then immediately taken down definitely becomes something that is certainly of high scrutiny, something that you might want to take a look at. So the source itself is rather intriguing to me also, but one thing that everybody completely overlooked and honestly I completely forgot about up until I first saw this was that we actually had something that was somewhat of an anomaly 
earlier in the year whenever Business Insider did a little bit of a report for everything coming out within the Activision and Activision Blizzard titles throughout 2017. And this was actually where a lot of the earlier information for DLC 5 or Zombies Chronicles came from as well, where there was also some information saying that there was going to be a standalone DLC pack within 2017. And that was something that at the time was like, this doesn't add up. The full content season for Black Ops 3 is already done. Why is there DLC content coming at that point in time? And one thing that was completely overlooked was the Modern Warfare Remastered DLC that was featured here with this one because it came out after the variety map pack ended up coming out, but it was also listed that there would be a DLC for Modern Warfare 3 in quarter three of 2017. People thought, maybe, you know what, these dates don't necessarily add up, but that's okay because the information there, these people that make these sort of reports don't care at all about the release dates or being accurate. They just care about knowing when things will be coming in that certain year. Quarters can be a little bit off, but it's basically just to show investors that this is coming up. But one thing that everybody kind of shrugged off was that the variety map pack was that quarter three DLC that was mentioned. Well, if this is any indication, August 1st falls within the fiscal year of quarter three in 2017. So therefore, this once again could have been foretold months back whenever we are still getting the earliest information and teases for DLC 5 within Black Ops 3. So again, that to me kind of points that this might be legit. Now the second point is how would this even work? How would this end up working at all? Well, honestly, right now it's laid out right in front of us. We could end up having four multiplayer maps from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 being thrown in the mix with Modern Warfare Remastered. And that's where it kind of then starts to become brilliant with marketing because Modern Warfare Remastered initially was something where everybody thought COD 4 Remastered Master. But the name Modern Warfare Remastered, while it does certainly apply to the original COD 4 being Modern Warfare, it also could very well apply to the Modern Warfare series. Thus, by adding these maps from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3 into Modern Warfare Remastered, it doesn't break what Modern Warfare Remastered means, but simply just adds to it. It becomes a collective pool for everything here with this, and that makes me wonder, in the future, will there be more in terms of DLC either moving forward? Maybe Modern Warfare Mastered is something that is supported for the next couple of years moving forward. No doubt it's definitely going to be weird going from three active titles from one year to only one with Sledgehammer's game of World War II. But what if Modern Warfare Mastered is in fact carried along through that year not only, but also even maybe further on, and we continuously get added DLC here added on top of that? Perhaps that's also a reason why Modern Warfare Mastered was recently started as a standalone title, something that PlayStation 4 and Xbox One users, I don't think Xbox One at the moment has access to it just yet, but you can buy it on its own because this DLC might be coming out on a regular fashion and we could end up getting the Modern Warfare series remastered all in one title. But it's just incredibly intriguing to see how things have kind of worked out for this in a very short amount of period of time. So once again, none of this right now is confirmed, but it's really, really intriguing. And I honestly wanna see where this goes here. I'm hoping more leaks either come out for this or we get an official announcement here for this coming. But once again, with this being released theoretically on August 1st, whether that's a placeholder date or not, if it is the legit date, that's literally in just over two weeks time. And for me, firstly, how does this go quiet for so long? How does this not get announced at all being such a massive bombshell? And when would this then be announced if it is that close? Perhaps tomorrow? I guess maybe that could work out. That's about the two week mark, I think, here up until that point. But still, it's crazy to think about. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you guys like the idea of this, firstly? And secondly, do you think this could be legitimate? Love to hear your thoughts down there. But once again, keep an open mind here with this. Take it with a grain of salt. None of this is in any way, shape, or form confirmed. But it is something that is rather intriguing, once again, taking a look at not only what it came from, but also that there was previously listed from something that listed a complete accurate list of DLC content, something that listed a quarter three release from Modern Warfare Remastered DLC. So I guess that's something that time will tell here. Hopefully we'll get some information here shortly, and I can't imagine we get anything too much later, simply because it is theorized to be so close, but 
If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below as well. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. We're going to be keeping you guys up to date with everything regarding this story, not only, but also Modern Warfare Mastered in general. Black Ops 3, both multiplayer and Zombies with Zombies Chronicles there. Call of Duty World War 2, both multiplayer and Zombies also there. And Infinite Warfare, if you guys are interested in all that kind of stuff. Finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, but practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.